Here he is with us, Mark Benson, uh, you Albany AD. Mark, you weren't just listening, were you? No, no. I, I'm sure. I'm sure there's things I don't want to know about. It'll uh, probably, probably I was just I was, me of my weekend, so I'm glad I didn't hear. Mark, I was just deciding that if you weren't going to call, I was going to go ahead and be you. <laughs> kind of sounds like well, Bill Clinton. I, yeah, he does a little. You got a little Clinton to you. Well, you know, I don't know how to take that. I guess he's he's not up for election this year, so that's probably a good thing. I will get, uh, yeah, I'll get in trouble. I'm glad I was able to cut, cut, patch through. Uh, like, Mark, I'll get in trouble for this, but Clinton yeah. is one of my all time favorites. I love him for multiple reasons. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got You got to stick with people that you know and you like. So I, I respect you for that. Well, we uh, we know and like you, uh, you Albany AD Mark Benson joining us. Mark, why in the world are you letting your teams play on on Valentine's Day? These kids got to get dates. Well, it's all about love for the kids, I think, when you <laughs> boil it down. But uh, you know, a lot of times our league assigns these dates. So now that we're in the thick of the America East uh, uh, regular season run, you know, we go with the dates that the, that the league assigns, and and so I guess it's a, a great date night opportunity for all the capital region. <laughs> Mark, tough loss to the men's hoop team last night at uh, at New Hampshire. So the Danes nine and three, New Hampshire eight and three. But you got two big games coming up Sunday against Maine, where uh, you Albany tries to avenge its first loss, and then the big Wednesday game against Stony Brook, the rematch at uh, at home at Sefcu. So you guys got a big week ahead. Yeah, big weekend. Uh, play play Maine as you say at two o'clock and trying to avenge that loss early in the year. Um, we're also honoring. Um, Doc Sowers, uh, this is his 60th, that's 6-0, his 60th year uh, working at the University of Albany. So we're going to have a nice uh, video tribute to Doc and, and honor his years of service to the University of Albany. And I, I didn't know this as I was researching for this weekend. Uh, Doc is in many Hall of Fames. He's in the New York State Basketball Hall of Fame, the U Albany Hall of Fame, the Capital District Sports Hall of Fame, and the Slippery Rock University Hall of Fame. So, so most most people never get one, and he's got four that I can identify so far. Am I the only person who doesn't know the Slippery Rock University Hall of Fame would consist of? Well, you know, it's it is a it's down in Arkansas. Speaking ironically, since we were just uh, talking about someone from down that way, <laughs> uh, so it's not unusual that folks up here would not have heard of Slippery Rock, but. Uh, uh, it's a good school and a good athletic program. Mark, you talk about honoring Doc Sowers. Well, last Saturday, you guys honored the 2005-2006 America East team, which was the first uh, men's basketball conference championship team. And you weren't here for that, but Levac and I remember that team. How cool is that for you to be a part of that for the first time? Uh, it, it was great. You know, I've obviously heard all the stories about that team and, and, of course, setting the tone for the success we've had the last several years of our men's basketball program. But uh, I do a couple of the guys. Of course, John Yachty's on our bench as an assistant coach, and Lucius Jordan uh, is over at Siena on, on their bench. So I've got a chance to, to know Lucius. And uh, great to, to meet the rest of the, the guys. Uh, a lot of good people, good personalities who have gone on to have really good careers in business, teaching, coaching, and otherwise. So great chance for our fans to recognize you know, all that they've done to help build this program. It was a really great weekend. 104.5, the team joined by University of Albany AD Mark Benson. So, Mark, we caught up with Samson Brown at Super Bowl Media Week in San Francisco, at Media Night, rather, and Samson Brown, the U Albany uh, product, who's on the Denver Broncos coaching staff. How cool is it now to have to have U Albany linked with a Super Bowl champion coach? Well, you know, it's, it's pretty neat. I mean, we just got done talking about Doc Sowers and all his years here, but, you know, Coach Ford uh, led our football program for 44 years. His coach, coaching tree, uh, both from uh, coaches that have coached for him but also played for him, is uh, cast a, a wide net. Uh, and having some someone like Samson on the uh, in the Super Bowl is quite an honor for him. But really, great reflection of our football program here at University of Albany. You know, you bring up the football program. Good friend of the show, Greg Gattuso, uh, getting that thing up and running nice. And what uh, what are your hopes for this season out of the Great Dane football team? Well, this will be year three for Coach Gattuso and his staff and a chance for some of the guys that he's recruited specifically to play at the CAA, the circuit, to play in time. So I think we're going to have a good year. Uh, it's a highly competitive league. I felt like we finished the, the season uh, heading in the, in the right direction. And if you look at um, the players getting a lot of minutes on our team, there are a lot of freshmen, a lot of sophomore, sophomores on that team getting minutes. So I think it tells you that we're recruiting, that they're recruiting the right type of guys to play in this league. And I think it should be a fun exciting uh, season. I look for us to be much more competitive this year in CAA.
women's hoop team another big win yesterday you guys had commitment to education day you had three thousand people there for a noon tip-off three thousand uh very loud i think we should have done a promotion where we gave away free earplugs to all the adults uh in attendance but uh you know it's a great opportunity for the young people in the capital region to, to get onto a college campus many of whom may have never set foot on a college campus they're so young they're probably not thinking about college but we hope Hopefully, it starts the wheels turning that, that they want to, you know, go through elementary, middle school, high school with the thoughts of one day attending uh, University of Albany or somewhere else. So, um, I think this is the biggest turnout that we've had, and um, was a really, really fun day. Mark, it's like five degrees outside right now. This weekend's going to be absolutely freezing. But next weekend, we get to start thinking about spring sports. You Albany the cross opens up at Syracuse. All the Thompsons are gone. Tell us the lacrosse program is still going to be okay. Yeah, I don't think ever, everyone needs to hit the panic button. I mean, <laughs> Coach Smart's done a great job with that program, and this has been, you know, years in the making. And of course, having the Thompson brothers um, really push us to, to new levels uh, has been great. But along the way, he's recruited other really good players. And again, you look at some of the some of the stars beyond Law last year. A lot of freshmen, a lot of sophomore. Believe it or not, uh, outdoors today at four thirty for. For those of you who want to test your endurance, uh, we're, we're actually have a, uh, a lacrosse scrimmage against Princeton at John Fallon Field. So uh, for those brave souls Ooh. to come out, they can get a, a glimpse of the Great Danes uh, before we head into the, our first game coming up against Syracuse. Mark, I'm going to need a little extra hot chocolate for that one. <laughs> well, you know, I don't even know if the concessions will be out there today, so I, I would encourage you to maybe bring your own and, and oh, do what it takes to, to stay warm out there. Mark, you're aware that if I bring my own, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, spiked, right? We we're we're clear on this. Well, we don't charge admission for a scrimmage, so I'm sure there's no one there probably checking cops on the on the way in. So uh, <laughs> I think you, you might be safe on this one. This is why I love you. You get me, Mark. You complete me. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to besides uh, uh, Mr. Clinton there that you were talking about earlier. <laughs> Mark, so much uh, so much to do, so busy. Yet you still make time for us, and we really appreciate it. I no, appreciate you guys having me on. Have a have a great weekend and uh, try to stay warm. Happy Valentine's Day, Mark. Hey, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> and if you're looking for a date opportunity, I'll be at Sefty Sunday. So come on and watch us play Maine. I I didn't I didn't know it was going to come to this. I'm kind of blushing. <laughs> well, it's a good color. Red's the color for Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Benson, you Albany AD. Great sport as always. Thanks for your time, Mark. All right, guys. Take care. Thanks.